All right. Hey everyone, it's Matt and Janita. We wanted to make a video and kind of do a short explanation of our trip that we just took out west. We ended up hitting the Grand Tetons, Yellowstone, and probably my favorite, Glacier National Park. Wanted to, we've gotten a lot of questions on, you know, how did you guys do it? What did you guys do? How did you prep for it? You know, it looked like fun. We'd like to do stuff like that. So we figured we could explain a little bit since we would love to get together with every one of you. Um, but actually just put together a video with our kind of dissertation of what we did and then Janita being super creative and having a lot of videos, putting some pictures and some videos along with it so you guys can kind of follow along. So we hope you enjoy. started and and what we wanted to do I guess what we set out to do what we learned from our trip that we had back in February of 22 where we lived out of a minivan for 30 days um, took a hell of a road trip on that um, so what we learned from that and how we utilize that for this trip I think the, the biggest thing that we did different is kind of pre-planning some stuff that we kind of had control over which yeah. is putting Hank our dog in doggy daycare um, so back in February, we didn't know that dogs weren't allowed in national parks. And so that kind of limited us from really exploring the places that we went. So this time, um, did some homework, found some good places that we'll yeah. mention here you know, and put videos up um, about the boarding places that we found. Yeah. Um, so that was one of the pre-plannings we did. Because um, in our February trip, Hank was with us the entire time. What we found out with national parks is that they can only be within 100 feet of hard roadways. So that kept us from being able to explore, do some hiking, see some really cool stuff. Um, we didn't want to leave Buddy at home, so Hank ended up coming with us. So we just planned it differently for the national parks. State parks, dogs are super welcome. They just ask you to pick up after them. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, you know, like you can adventure with your dogs in state parks. Um, so we just planned things a little bit different, made some pre-arrangements with dog kennels. Yeah, which was, you know, something we learned and it's smart of us to do. Yeah. Um, and then back in February, we also did Airbnbs. And what we um, found out was we needed it maybe every two to three days. Yeah. So we looked at the calendar. I had to, like, cut out sticky notes and kind of post the check-in, check-outs, and when Hank was supposed to be checked into. So a lot of pre-planning. Um, for our trip this time around that made it a lot simpler for us. Yeah, we were trying to jam in quite a bit of stuff in a short window. Uh, so how to, how we kind of did things super efficient that we actually had planned on this trip taking 11 days after seven days. We were both worn out, and I know it sounds funny, but we were just tired of mountains, tired of mountain roads, tired of waterfalls, tired of geysers, tired <laughs> of hiking, tired of just worn out because we packed in so much and had such an incredible experience in a seven day period um which you guys don't have to move at the pace that we did because it was rather exhausting we spent the other three <laughs> days coming back home and just relaxing sleeping washing stuff uh yeah just kind of getting reset. it probably took us a whole week to get us um caught up back with everything like our body was legit yeah. just done with everything and i think the overwhelming um beauty of everything is also a little bit exhausting because every day you're fine or you're looking at something beautiful it's just amazing yeah you're just literally taking it it's all new stimulus it's all new experiences all yeah. new like cool stuff so we were in bed by like 8 30 <laughs> uh sun was still shining a couple of the nights <laughs> while we we're going to bed but you know so okay so let's go tell them about the first day 